Hi, this is Phil Chandler with a follow-up video for the Zest Hive, which is this monster here with its nice shiny new roof, um, which I'm now going to attempt to remove. Ah, oh, yes, we can. These have inevitably found a way of uh, sticking the roof down with propolis, but that's just the way they do things here. And so I'm just going to peel this cover off and see what's going on this side. So here we've got some bees. Got a nice thriving little colony here. I gave them a new queen about a month ago and here's the butler cage that the queen was introduced in which is now empty and so we know the queen's come out. Now what we want to know is is she laying? But uh, some other questions I need to answer here because some of you won't have seen this type of hive before and I've just realized that I haven't got my hive tool with me, so I'll go and get it. Right, so now I'm fully equipped. Okay, so I'm just going to dust this colony just lightly with this water spray, just so they know nothing bad is going to happen, but just encourages them to keep their head down. Something I'd like to show you is the frames that come with this kit. Um, here it is. It's a big frame. It's equivalent to three British National Supers in, in height and in capacity, obviously. And so it has spacers at the bottom there and also at the top. And that keeps the frames at the correct spacing. These, there's a couple of spares here. And what I'm gonna do is show you a frame that has what the bees have actually built on. I'm just gonna lever it out. Now because I built this hive myself, um, I've built it as closely as possible to the original um, specifications. Excuse me. And um, hang on, I'm just getting a bit... These are usually quite peace-loving bees, but um, I'm just going to put the veil on to protect my face. I'm not worried about if they sting my arms particularly, but I'd rather they didn't sting my face. So, um, this is a vertical queen excluder. What I was saying was, I built this myself, so I had to be quite careful to comply with the um, correct dimensions. And obviously with a, with a hive like this, it's very important because there's two colonies in here. Um, it's important to have a bee tight fit. So these frames and this queen excluder uh, are what, what I would call a sliding fit in this hive. Okay, so this is a queen excluder and it can be turned into a, um, a, a divider simply by fixing a piece of um, Corex plastic or something similar over the, over the actual uh, queen excluder element. So I'm just going to move that, and now I'm going to take out a frame that the bees have built on. This frame is for honey, as you can see. Um, well, say, you know, they've stored honey up here, and this is just empty comb. They have built comb neatly in the frame here, despite the fact that there was no foundation or no... I, I didn't do anything to guide them. They've literally built comb directly onto the... Um, the, the plastic ridge, if you like, that, that runs along the top of each um, section. They've done that all themselves. And as you can see, they, they've built, you know, drone comb one side of this, uh, the, this frame and then worker, frame, worker comb the other side for their own particular reasons. Uh, okay, so that's one frame. I'm going to take another one out there. Because this hive has no um, rails on the top, in other words, the, the, the tabs of the frame rest directly onto the blocks. Um, and because these bees quite like using propolis, uh, the frames do tend to get glued down a bit. Okay, this, this is one of the um, original wooden frames that I put in there with the bees on, and again, they've just stored honey in there. So I'm going to move another frame, a similar frame out, out of the way. What I'm looking for in here is, is, is mainly to check 
well, one that they've got plenty of stores and also that uh, they've got a laying queen. Now, we're seeing plenty of stores in here. Here's another one. And again, they've built this completely from scratch. No, no extra um, wax or, or foundation or anything in there. And they've built that completely um, on their own. But I'm not seeing any brood at the moment, which is a little bit worrying. We should have a mated and laying queen in there. That's what I'm hoping for. I, I introduced a mated queen, so I wasn't relying on her being mated in this apiary. Another frame of honey, both sides. Now then, I should start looking for brood. No, there's just pollen there. That's all, that's all pollen. The next frame, I've just looked down. I can see there is actually brood on it. So I'm very happy about that. This is a deep frame and you can see, look, seal brood and I don't see any open brood on that frame but there's definitely some seal brood so the queen has been laying. Um, again the seal brood that side and pollen and stores. Um, haven't seen the queen. I am seeing drones though. Now this is uh, interesting because th we are now at the, where are we? 5th of September, something like that. Most of my colonies have evicted their drones. Um, this one hasn't. Um, colonies do often hang on to their drones when they are uncertain about their queen or if she's not uh, not laying very well so just in case you know just as a precaution um, so the fact that I'm seeing drones might indicate something isn't quite perfect um, okay so I'm seeing again seal brood no open brood no eggs that I can see but you know uh, this this is the you can see the concentric circles of the uh, of, of the brood here and there's quite a lot of quite a bit of a pepper pot going on here and the brood pattern this side again well given the time of year given the conditions I'm not overly displeased with this laying pattern I'm just resting the frame on here. I'm just putting my glasses on because then I, I stand more chance of actually seeing um, eggs and queens and things. It'd be nice to see the queen and it'd be nice if she's laying, of course. Okay, so what are we seeing here? There's a decent amount of sealed brood. There's no, literally no open brood. There's no eggs. Um, there are definitely drones. The, the queen is marked, so it should be easy to see her. She's definitely not on that frame. And she's not on that side either. Okay, so I'm going to put this one back. These are reasonably calm. They're not. Um, I've got a couple of stings on the arm to start with, but, but nothing that I would worry about. But there's another frame here. It could be that the queen's just shut down her laying. I mean, that's also possible. Uh, okay, I'm seeing. Hold this the right way for the light. Uh, there's no eggs in any of those cells. And drones, workers. These are quite lively, but that's um, normal for 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 uh, bees with a. decent amount of native blood, They're often quite lively. <clears throat> I'm not seeing a queen, I'm not seeing any open brood, so that's a little bit concerning. Now, 
this end we're back to the full size frame again again lots of sealed brood on so I'm quite happy with the amount of sealed brood in here for this time of year but I would love to see some sign of eggs and I'm not seeing any sign of eggs or open brood so I have had problems this year with um, early supersedure in other words new queens being superseded only a short time after being introduced which is not a trend I, I, I really would like would prefer I'm sorry I'll say that again it's a trend I would prefer not to be seeing um, They're a little bit lively, but they're not moaning. You know, when it, when a when a hive is queenless, you usually get that rising moan that they give off. Um, it's almost like a protest sound, but I'm not getting that. bit of comb that's been built on the divider at the end there but I'm not too worried about that so I'm, ju I'm just going to reassemble this um, now I'm not going to look any further they're telling me from their behavior that they are they're a bit uncertain about their queen and the fact that there's no open brood obviously is, is, a, is, a, is a sign either of a failing queen or a missing queen. Now there's no reason why this queen should have gone missing in such a short time or, or indeed why she should be failing within such a short time. So that is a slight concern. I've got a bit of a fail safe here because as a as a last ditch um, option I, I could join these two colonies together um, as I said at the beginning there are, there are two separate colonies in this hive um, with a central divider between them um, if, if one side goes queenless for whatever reason we have got the option of joining them together I'd rather not do that if I, if I can avoid it because um, I'd like to keep both queens going. <coughs> Just to remind you, those of you who haven't seen the other videos, and, and, and I always do look, look up the other videos, um, you can see that one, one side of this hive has, this colony here, has a high entrance, and this hive has a low entrance. And that's just an experiment to see uh, if there's any difference in their behaviour between the two different entrances. So, we don't know yet. That's early days to judge. So now I'm going to open this side. I'm using this Reflectix as a, as a top, a peelable top layer. You can see it's, it's kind of, it gets stuck down with propolis fairly firmly, but it, it will peel off and, and it's, um, it provides a nice extra layer of insulation underneath the, the roof um, so that the bees can retain their warmth better. Okay, these bees over here, they immediately sound a little bit calmer. So I'm hoping that that's a good sign and, and that they've got a healthy laying queen. So again I'm going to move, I'm going to completely remove that frame to give me some space. There's, um, there's frames here with honey on, that's an original wooden 
super, some money on there. This is one of the Zest Hive deep frames and they built, as you can see, they fill the equivalent of a, of a national super of honey on the top there, both sides, nicely capped, all good. Plenty of honey in here, quite a bit of propolis too. Nice heavy wooden frame full of honey. The idea of the the top entrance, the the upper entrance. Um, when I when I spoke to um, Bill Summers, who was the designer, the originator of this hive, um, he, he thought that bees with a high entrance would store their honey below the brood rather than above the brood. Now I I was, I was sort of dubious about that, but these guys are definitely storing honey in the usual places at the moment. I haven't seen any indication that they're being brood above it, but I haven't got to brood yet. Okay, there's more honey. So everything I've lifted so far has had a decent amount of honey on it. I'm just going to give them a spray again because they're getting a bit lively. I'm actually just going to close that bit down and I'm going to open from the other side. These bees have become significantly more defensive since I last opened them a month ago. Um, which, well, again, that is often an indication that uh, all is not well with the queen. But I'm not drawing any conclusions just yet. So, we've got some brood here. I've got some open cells with, with lava in. Um, not seeing any eggs. I haven't seen the queen yet. There are drones. Yeah, there's a few open, few cells of open brood in there. Um, but again, no eggs. No visible queen. They're quite lively, and they're lively in a way that, I don't know, uh, it doesn't, doesn't feel good to me. It feels, it feels like they're, again, unsure about their queen. There are, there's quite a few open lava in here, so they do actually have some open brood. Not much, uh, the, however, the queen is back filling, which I always take as a good sign. She's going back and laying in spaces that have become vacated by emerging bees. Uh, I'm still not seeing the queen. Okay, I'm a little bit happier now I've seen some open brood. One more frame to go. Okay, so a lot of sealed brood. These big frames are they're a little bit more awkward to handle than the, than the shorter frames, but it's just a matter of technique, I think. Plenty of sealed brood there, but again, a bit of a pepper pot. That may say more about the mating of the queen than anything else. There are eggs here and there, so she is she is back filling, which, which is good. Okay, 
Well. All we can say for sure is that there, there has been a queen in there very recently. Um, I'm not going to move that last frame there. This is right up against the divider. So I'm just going to put the, these back as I found them. They're a little bit lively, a little bit defensive, but not, not badly so. And I'm not worried about them. And my default position with all these kinds of situations is, um, if in doubt, do nothing. Because 90% of the time, if you think there's a problem, um, the bees have other ideas and, and they often fix things that, that you think are problems. Um, they fix things themselves uh, and, and you could say maybe they, you know, maybe they didn't even need fixing in the first place. Because it wasn't really a problem at all. So, so with these two colonies, the, the one on the right hand side mm. here, um, is it, it's, like, it's a little bit more of a concern than this one, in that I've seen I've seen no immediate signs of a queen, although there is sealed brood, so there has been a queen in there, you know, within the last couple of weeks. Haven't seen her. There are drones on both sides. Um, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, but you know, these do tend to hang on to drones if their queen's a bit iffy. So I, I can't say anything really conclusive about this, other than the fact that the, the bees seem happy and healthy, they're storing honey, they're doing all the right things, um, not absolutely sure about the state of the queen, uh, because we haven't seen her and because well, this side has eggs and, and young larvae, the other side doesn't appear to have, but, you know, worst case scenario, we could join these colonies together, so I'm not too totally bothered about that. Um, but I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and just close it up, and hope that they know better than I do, as they usually do, <laughs> what's needed to be done. And just get them off the top as well. Let's get this on. So that's where we are with the zest hive. This is its first year and uh, we shall see how it gets through the winter and uh, to see if the claims of it being a hyper insulated hive are correct and that the bees um, overwinter and it successfully. So there we are for now. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.